sometimes even achieve better purposes uh, than a stagnant roadblock in one place because people can find ways of circumventing if they know at point A is a roadblock, point B there is a roadblock. But when you have enough highway it uh, don't know at what point they may be uh, overtaken by by the surveillance. Chair on um, the I see the Honorable Naomi is leaving but we will provide the the it is true I did promise uh, on the office of the Registrar of Persons for death uh, a while ago and um, we had a small issue of budget of uh, which has now been resolved uh, so thank you for reminding me the Honorable Naomi registrar of death and birth, the civil registrar, and I will personally take the responsibility for that commitment. Um, then on the issue of um, integration of refugees, we will, um, I know there are about 35,000 uh, refugees approximately from Ethiopia, and um, Ethiopia is a friendly country uh, with very deep historic ties with Kenya we would like to maintain that relationship and therefore as we do the uh, local integration for long-standing or refugees with long-standing presence in the country I don't see any reason why deserving cases from Ethiopia should be left out um, however the process of um, implementing the, the act is going to be spelled out in the regulations that when that legislation is tabled, hopefully in the next half uh, 30 days. And number two, the Shirika plan aims at creating refugee settlements. So we are moving from refugee camp and we will expect uh, the prevailing scenario to continue. Those who are in camps will continue being in settlements. But as you're aware, there are a few uh, some of them have jobs some of them have businesses and the law allows that and I want to tie that to the other question which was asked on uh, what what is the spectrum I think it's the member for Quisero the bishop who uh, uh, <laughs> which I got interested when uh, this bishop issue became because we are dealing with some <laughs> I have active cases <laughs> um, so chair um, what is the scope of rights the social economic benefits include access to education access to health care access to um, um, complementary you know services that Kenyans can access so long as they have the right qualifications they have the right qualification and there's an opportunity and of course we have our own policies that of course if if there is a Kenyan and a foreigner competing for a job or one position refugee who is qualified from getting and employed in Kenya. So the details will be in the proposed uh, regulations and the sharing. But basically it includes even where possible access to government scholarship and our national qualifications authority is um, working to um, the prior acquired skills of refugees so that those skills, for example if somebody did a technical certificate course in their country of origin our national qualification authority will try and equate that that uh, learning into the Kenyan system to allow that refugee to be able to access employment when opportunities arise uh, I think other than that um, uh, it is to resettle uh, and therefore um, we are actively reviewing the the case laws that we still have 
and I think I've appeared before another committee.